From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo. High waters that flowed over a massive landslide in B.C.'s Chilcotin River are churning now in the Fraser River towards B.C.'s lower mainland today. Emergency Management Minister Bowen Ma says the fast-flowing waters are forecast to raise river levels by about a metre at Hope early this morning. She says the river levels will be similar to spring runoff conditions on the Fraser, but there is potential danger from floating trees and other debris. Fire Fire officials in Vancouver say a crane collapsed last night on a construction site in the west side as crews battle multiple fires that broke out at about the same time. Vancouver Fire and Rescue say crews are working to extinguish the blazes on Dunbar Street and West 41st. Videos posted on social media showed a crane toppling amid huge flames. WestJet says more flight delays and cancellations may be necessary today after a powerful storm hit Calgary's airport this week. WestJet says more than 80 of its flights in and out of Calgary were cancelled yesterday. Some of the airline's planes were damaged by hail and had to be repaired. The storm roared through on Monday, damaging the Calgary airport's passenger terminal. Video on social media showed water pouring from the terminal ceiling. The Insurance Bureau of Canada says hailstorms and other natural disasters are becoming more frequent and severe, especially in Alberta. A Calgary storm in June 2020 resulted in some 70,000 claims and more than $1.3 billion in insured damage. Jason White, The Canadian Press. The American Democratic presidential ticket is now complete, with Vice President Kamala Harris choosing Minnesota Governor Tim Walls as her running mate. But as ABC's Perry Russom tells us, Walls almost missed his chance. So we got 91 days. My God, that's easy. We'll sleep when we're dead. The Harris campaign says it raised more than $20 million since Walls joined the ticket. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. ABC News learning Walls didn't even answer the phone at first because the phone said no caller ID. So Harris had to call him a second time. And a second woman claims the late husband of famed writer Alice Munro targeted her sexually by exposing himself to her when she was nine years old in her family's Toronto home. Now 64, Jane Morey decided to speak out after Munro's daughter, Andrea Robin Skinner, recently published an essay about how Gerald Fremlin sexually abused her as a child. Morey says she hopes her story will encourage parents to protect their children. That's that's what I'm really hoping out of all of this, is that people... Aside from Alice Monroe's fame, aside from everything, it's just like if something happens and your child tells you, then believe them. Maury says she wasn't traumatized by the incident because her mother believed her right away and threw Fremlin out of their house. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, the Toronto Blue Jays bested the Baltimore Orioles at Rogers Centre, winning 5-2 on Alejandro Kirk's three-run homer. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. extended his hitting streak to 18 games. Andrew Benatendi hit a two-run homer, and the Chicago White Sox snapped their American League record-tying losing streak at 21 games in their 5-1 win over Oakland. At the Olympics, Richmond, B.C.'s Cameron Rogers struck gold to become the first Canadian to ever medal in Olympic women's hammer throw. Canada has won 18 medals in Paris so far, including six gold now. Canada's men's basketball team is leaving Paris without a medal. The team lost 82-73 to host France in Tuesday's quarterfinals. Richmond, B.C.'s Evan Dunphy will make his second attempt at the podium in Paris in a few hours when he and Olivia Lundman compete in the mixed race walk relay. Dunphy finished fifth earlier in the games in the men's 20K race walk. From the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Ribot. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.